my question is to the Minister for Infrastructure. How will the Albanese Labor government clean up previous failures affecting the infrastructure investment pipeline and ensure that Australians can believe what the government says when it comes to major infrastructure projects? Yeah. Give a call to the Minister for Infrastructure. Order. Thanks so much uh, for Order. the, the question. Has can the call I thank will be heard in silence. Oh, the oh. Deputy Leader of the Opposition. Sorry. Well, it's been more than fair, and she's a serial offender at this. I'm going to warn her now. I'm just going to allow the minister to restart her answer and reset the clock. The minister has the call. Um, thank you, um, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for you know, the, the deputy leader opposite does this constantly. Order. And I, I appreciate Order. the protection of the, the chair. It is a, a constant interjection. Order. She's doing it even Order. now. Order. So can I just um, say thank you very much to the member for Gilmore for the question. Uh, she knows just how important infrastructure investments are for our regions and for our cities. But more importantly, she knows how important it is that when you promise to deliver infrastructure, that it is actually delivered. That is why reforming the $120 billion infrastructure investment pipeline is so incredibly important. The previous government, what the previous government did is they left the pipeline, they left this pipeline the in a total Barbara. mess, riddled with projects that simply were underfunded, had no funding partner, have not actually had proper cost benefit analysis done. That have not got support of states and territories. They were poorly scoped, and that they are simply not able to be delivered. We saw the pipeline business. grow from 150 projects to 800 projects, a large number the of which are under page. 50 million dollars that simply can never be delivered. Now, if this, the previous government somehow thought that 800 projects poorly funded, under scope, not supported by states and territories, that you are going to deliver every single one of those, we've got rocks in your head. That is why we have had to look closely at this infrastructure investment pipeline. Order, we want to make sure that if we promise a project, we actually deliver the project. That is what our regions deserve, it's what our rural communities Order, deserve, and it's what our cities absolutely deserve. The now, the growth in this infrastructure investment pipeline, it won't surprise anyone. Where was the major growth? 2016 2019. What was happening in that time? There were election campaigns on. That is the way in which you used public money in infrastructure to invest in projects right the way across the country that suited your political purposes so you could put out a press release. And I've said before, you cannot drive on a Order. press release. We are doing the hard, work, the on my hard left. work of cleaning up the mess that you have left an incredibly important part of this budget in. The infrastructure the investment pipeline, $120 billion, has to be delivered. And it can only be delivered if we look at every project, we look at the costs of those projects, we make sure that we can actually deliver them, that we've got funding partners for them, and we are cleaning up the mess that has been left by those opposite Order. to make sure that we can deliver infrastructure in our rural communities, in our regions and right the way across our thriving and growing suburbs.